welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get into my video, I just want to say... I decided to do a video like getting ready with me for work type of thing. So it definitely is going to be a part two. The plus side to being alone on my birthday um, is that I do work and that my manager told me that I could wear this awesome birthday sash. So hopefully I attract more tips. I pray it works because I really need these tips. So I've already taken a shower and right now I rinsed my hair out. I had coconut oil in it for about a good hour, I would say. So I just take one of these brushes. It is broke, but you know, one of these lovely brushes. I just go through, brush my hair out. I used to have detangler, but I used it all. So I haven't been to the store to get any more detangler. So um, because I'm rocking my natural hair today, this is basically my natural hair routine. Well, quick routine just for work. Obviously, there's an extended hair care routine that I do, but for now, it's just a getting ready for work video. This takes forever because I don't have detangler. I'm trying to get all the tangles out. When you don't get all your tangles out and you style your hair, it's like your curls are just weird. Like they just look natty. Like they look disgusting. Okay, now that all my tangles are out, I usually part my hair somewhat. Um, sorry guys, there's like my mirrors right here. So I'm looking at my mirror. <laughs> um, sometimes my hair acts stupid and doesn't want to part. I used to part my hair down the middle, but for work, I always do it like this, just to give it a little bit more oomph, because it's we're supposed to be glamorously styled or whatever. So then I just go through and rebrush the top of it since I made it tangly from parting it. And the back, Ugh. I kind of hate parting my hair, to be honest. I really need some detangler, like bad. Okay, that's about it. There's a genuine little part. So with nothing in my hands, no products, I just go ahead and start scrunching up my hair just so it could get that uh, little flow going because I just brushed it out and so it's kind of looking straight. So I kind of just do this, dry it up a little without product. Then I take my microfiber towel that's still pretty damp and I just scrunch it up even more. And you see it's like starting to form a little bit of curls without the product. I only, I do this so it can, oh, la, la, la. I do this so my hair will look like it has more volume in it and so it's not entirely product that's making my hair curly. Like I like to have some natural wave to it before product. I don't know why. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I get the top too. I don't want to have like super straight hair up top. I think that's good. Okay, so after that, just shake it up a little bit. I use this all natural hair milk. Um, I like to try out different stuff. So once this is done, I might buy it again. I'm not sure. I might buy something else. I just like to try different things. Um, eventually, I'm going to go all natural and only use like natural products straight out of the ground or straight from the earth. 
gonna continue to scrunch it with the product in it. I'm gonna use a little bit more. Um, this is also after I've used coconut oil for an hour, so it's definitely looking really moisturized more than usual. Um, so I'm not gonna use a lot of this hair milk because my hair is super moisturized today. This is my first time heating up coconut oil and leaving it in my hair. Usually I just um, use it like raw without heating it up, put it in my hair as a um, styling method, but today I put it in my hair as a treatment. And I will say it, I mean it did its job. It's definitely really moisturized. My hair is not even that wet right now. So, but it looks pretty wet because it's moisturized. So that's a good thing. I'm almost done. This takes forever. Okay. It's still a little bit damp. And my ends aren't completely the way I want them. But it's just going to have to do. It should, I can't talk today. It's just going to have to do for now. I think it's okay. I haven't been doing my edges. Well, I haven't been laying them lately because ew, because my skin is so bad around there so I just pretty much just brush them out I do have edge control guys I'm just not using it for a while until my acne clears up okay now makeup okay guys so I'm obviously not a huge makeup person if you follow me on my Instagram and stuff I don't do anything too drastic um, even on special occasions, I don't. I got this from TJ Maxx. It's just a highlighter thing. Uh, Profusion is the brand, I guess. I gotten some. I've gotten another one of these things at Ross one time, but it wasn't as big. But it was also really pretty. There's all these colors, and it also comes with some brushes, I guess, for your nose for your brow and then for your cheeks. So that's that. So I'm definitely using that today because it's my birthday. I use two mascaras all the time. I'm about to have to get two more. I also got this from TJ Maxx. I had a little gift card. Um, I've never heard of this cherry tree. Fake lashes, super curling, never heard of it, but it just looked really cute so I got it. And then I'm pretty sure this is CoverGirl or something. It's almost out as well. I just use it like over. Then I have this pretty pink blush. I got this from Walmart. Um, I just thought it was so pretty. It's such a pretty pink. Okay. And then these are my foundations. I bought a 205, but I'm getting darker. And it's getting sunnier outside, so I'm probably going to need a darker shade. So I'm trying to hurry up and finish these. Um, I don't even know why I have two, but I need to hurry up and finish them. Um, then I got this because my skin is so bad. I don't like to use brushes as much. So I do have the brushes that come with the highlighting kit. But for my foundation, I like to use this because it's easy to wash. And, um, you know, makeup doesn't get, like inside of it and then when you rinse it it doesn't get damaged like some brushes do setting spray of course because i'm at work for hours around heat sweating and whatnot so i got this from walmart walmart as well maybelline and then i got some powder matte poreless i put this over my wonderful foundation that is too light for my skin and I'm pretty sure this is too light as well um, 220 and then this is 205 I'm weird I like to miss mix match um, this lipstick neutral lipstick is always my favorite I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear it today or not um, also have this one from Claire's <laughs> I will never do a makeup tutorial on here, you guys. If I do a makeup tutorial, it will be like how to look like you don't have makeup on when you actually have makeup on because I love looking natural and being natural. Most times I don't even wear makeup unless I'm going to work. Um, I also have this. 
eyeliner. I put it in my eyebrows sometimes, but since I just did my eyebrows the other day, I probably won't use it in my eyebrows. Um, I used it as an eyeliner the other day, actually, and it was pretty cute. But I don't know if I'll do that today, because I suck at eyeliner as well. Um, I have options. So, usually I do my pink palette, pink and brown. But today I'm feeling a little bit more spicy, so I'm going to head for the darker ones. And obviously, what's that one thing called? Um, smoky eye or whatever. I do smoky eye with like every single uh, eyeshadow. Like it doesn't matter if it's light or dark. That's why I get these. Oops. That's why I get these. Because you can do smoky eye. But today I'm using this one. Okay. Hey guys, um, I just woke up and I'm really sorry I didn't finish the video yesterday. Kind of left you guys hanging with a picture at the end, but um, it just really wasn't a good day for me. Um, a lot of things happened before work and then I went to work with the wrong uniform on because I had never worked on a Sunday and I didn't know we had to wear the black one, so I had to change into that. I wore my birthday sash, but I don't even think I made that much money to be honest. I think I came in with $100 for change and I left with like 130 or so. It just wasn't a good night. People were really rude. There was some nice people, but overall, people were just really cheap and it just wasn't a good night for me. Um, personally, I think you shouldn't go out to eat if you're not going to tip. This one table I had, their total only came out to be $6 after all the discounts for Mother's Day. And they gave me a $10 tip, which was really nice. Like, generous? Like, for real, for real? That's never happened to me before. Um, I was running back and forth a whole lot. I was getting, like, triple set because I had two big tables. So they just assumed that I wanted three tables at the same time. I mean, it's cool to have three tables at the same time, but not all, like, new tables at the same time. Like, you know, I want to have time to clean my tables off or, like, get time to talk to my customers, figure out what they want, and then give me another table. It was just a lot going on yesterday. Um, I'm happy it's over, which is so sad because it's mother. it was Mother's Day and my birthday. But um, that was my finished look. <laughs> I wasn't in a good mood yesterday. I just went to work. I was trying to have, you know, high hopes and that people would tip, but they really didn't tip that much. So, it was kind of a bummy day. But I'm really excited um, for my boyfriend to come back because we're going to do stuff and celebrate my birthday. And um, I apologize for... Not this, because I'm not going to apologize for how I naturally look in the morning. But my voice, I sound like a horse. Like I said, it was a long night, and I'm really sorry, you guys. Like, I didn't even finish the video. <laughs> but um, I guess this is, like, the ending to the video. That was the finished look. Um, even after I finished my makeup, I mean, all I did was put my shorts on and all that. And I kind of already showed you guys um, how to wear the uniform. So, that was about it. Um, just let me know what you want me to do videos about. I know I'm going to do, like, 
a flexi rod hair tutorial and then I'm gonna show you guys my hair care routine and then I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna do another Hooters video and I have a couple more ideas I don't want to tell you guys yet I'll leave my Instagram below and my email or you could just leave a comment under the video have a good day guys